If you like edge of your seat suspense when you sit down to watch a film, there's a movie opening this week that's right up your alley. And as always, entertainment reporter Jim Ferguson talked to the stars. But Jim, really, we want to go back a couple days first. Right. Let's go back uh, to, was it about Sunday or Sunday. Monday? Mm -hmm. That the uh, Adam West, the original Batman, yeah. even though it was on television, uh, he was the first. And I think he was the model for a lot of the actors that followed him. Uh, when you think of Batman, I always thought of Adam West. Yeah, well, you're a movie guy, so anytime you know, a prominent figure in Hollywood passes, we always like to get your take. And you say he was really an original in every sense of the word. Right, and a nice guy, too. I interviewed him years ago. Uh, I forget exactly he had a part in a feature film. And, uh, but just a good guy, and you know, he realized his career was Batman. Mm -hmm. So he devoted a very, it was a good move, smart move, uh, to going around lecturing about Batman, and uh, he, uh, engra he embraced that role. Well, see, yeah. that shows his humility. He didn't try to reinvent himself. He, like you said, he just embraced what he did and what he did well, and he left an imprint on people in right. his own way. We're going to miss Adam. We are going to miss him. Adam, yeah. and he was, in, he was the original Batman, um, and they made, of course, the new Batmans, and we're talking about an actor today that was in one in of those Batman. Batman yeah, movies. Batman, yeah, Batman the Black Knight. Dark Knight. Or yeah. Dark Knight, I'm sorry. <laughs> Black, Black Knight, the Dark, Dark Knight. Knight. Dark Knight, okay. Same. Matthew Modine, yeah. who was nominated three times for a Golden Globe, and he won one for Shortcuts, a, a comedy that he was terrific in, and he's in a movie called 47 Meters Down. Yeah. Uh, he plays uh, Captain Taylor, uh, who runs this rickety boat in Mexico that has a cage on it where people, tourists, can pay 20 bucks and go down and see the shark. Sounds know. like a great idea, yeah, right? Great Nothing idea. could go wrong. And, and with him is Yanni Gelman, who you may remember from ABC's uh, family hit, Pretty Little Liars, right. and a good young actor. He plays a young man in Mexico who convinces these two young girls, Mandy Moore and Claire Dole, Holt, to go down in the cage. Bad idea, girls. Yeah, bad idea. <laughs> so here's Matthew and uh, Yanni. All right. Would you guys both agree that uh, this film is a terrifying story of survival? Yeah, that's that's a very way to very per precise way to describe well, thank it. Thank you, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, it really is. But it's also, I feel like. Underneath that, a, a metaphor for the environment kind of mm -hmm. fighting back, and it's mm -hmm. about these humans who kind of go into um, a situation without the proper respect or training and with no real deference to, you know, the, the shark's environment, and they sort of suffer the consequences. And I'm hoping that audiences kind of come away from the, watching the film with that notion that we really need to think about you know, respecting the oceans, preserving the oceans. Um, I'm glad you said that because your character, Lewis, yeah. It's all his fault. <laughs> well, wait a that second. There's whole, a lot of blame to go that, around that, here. That this whole situation. These <laughs> I got two, very excited. These I met two a very pretty girl. Girls, and, uh, <laughs> Mandy and Claire end up in this situation because very true. your character enticed them to do well, that. Well, I'm going along the metaphor, you know. <laughs> it's all, my character's trying to, you know, we're trying to make a buck by showing these tourists. The oh, sure. And there's, you know, <laughs> catastrophic effects there. So it really, we really do need to take our time to... Um, understand the, the, the planets, um, how fragile the planet is, yeah, and, I agree. and in this case, the sharks bite back. Matthew, your character, Captain Taylor, mm -hmm. uh, what can we tell about him just by looking at his boat? Well, he's an expatriate, he doesn't have a lot of money, <laughs> he's, he's probably living hand to mouth. Uh, he doesn't seem like a, like a mean person or hmm. an alcoholic or anything like that. He's just somebody who's, who's trying to make ends meet. and. Uh, you know, in the script, his boat was described as much, much worse than what, what it actually is in the film. And, and I had a chat with the director in the art department before I got down there and said that I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't believe it, it, that if these two girls uh, came to the boat and that they'd take a chance if the boat was as bad as it's described. <laughs> so they cleaned it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and it was, you know, it's what David Letterman used to call stupid human tricks. And, it, you know, the idea that you'd go out in a boat and dump blood in the water yeah. and put people in a, in a cage. Yeah, why would people do something? Why like would that? people? But they do. They yeah. do it, They do it all the time. And, and they dump blood in the water to, to attract sharks to catch them and kill them. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, there's about 100 million sharks a year killed uh, f simply for their fins. They cut their fins off and they dump the shark back in the water. And, uh, of course, it can't, it can't survive without its fins. Yeah. It can't navigate the water. And, it, it, and it's, a, it's a horrific thing that's happening across the, across the globe right now. 
Yeah, I just have a feeling that uh, if you did a backstory on Captain Taylor, it, w it could be pretty interesting. Yeah. I think yeah. it's probably the, 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 the sequel. sequel. Or the prequel. The prequel, where, yeah. The, the, how the he prequel. ended up there. I have a feeling he's how lived he ended a pretty, up there, yeah. an interesting yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I, I just thought the uh, the stunt work of the girls, the cinematography, the photography itself, uh, just yeah. incredible. It was borderline heroic. I mean, they were underwater yeah. for the better part of a month, day in, day out, you know, 8, 10, 12 hours a day, the upbreaks. Um, you know, we heard some pretty funky stories about how, what the water would be like by the end of the, the shoot day. Um, they were putting broccoli in it to make it seem like it's all murky and so on, but then also like, you know, you've got to choose your bathroom breaks wisely and, uh, yeah. Have either one of you scuba dived? <laughs> I have. You have? Yeah. yeah. I grew up scuba diving down in Imperial Beach and San Diego area. Uh, we used to go, we'd say, we'll meet you at the pipe. There was a pipe that came out in Point Loma, and the water was always warm there in Point Loma, and there were always a lot of abalone and, and uh, lobsters. We didn't go very deep. We went, you know, within 40 feet, you know, so, uh, and we discovered when we were graduating from high school, the reason the water was so warm and, and what was coming out of the pipe was sewage. Oh. And there, that's why there was so much lobster <laughs> and abalone. So I kind of gave up scuba diving for, for like two, two decades. Yeah. Wow. Well, I guess the lesson is never underestimate Mother Nature and never underestimate actors and how uh, good and strong they are to be able to shoot underwater for that many hours. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. And the two young ladies, um, um, Claire, mm -hmm. uh, I'm Claire sorry. Holt and Claire Mandy Holt Moore. and Mandy Moore. Yeah. Right. They do a great job and I'm going to have them on Friday and I'll do a review of the movie. And I can can say that it's kind of this generation's Jaws. This generation's Jaws, that's a yeah. good way to put it. I love movies that are underwater, although I always feel like I have to hold my breath sometimes when I'm watching it. <laughs> Subconsciously, it's kind of And silly. Alex, I got to admit, I did jump. You did jump? Several times, right. several like times. Like you said, for people that like that, it's the perfect movie. Jim, oh, it thank is. You. It's a good summer movie. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Now, guys, for more celebrity interviews, just visit TucsonMorningBlend.com and search for Hollywood Happenings.